Can a thermometer improve your cooking? Let's find out by looking at the three ways that a Haworth thermometer has helped me improve my cooking. The third one might surprise you, but let's start with the best one. Number one. I no longer have to guess if the chicken I cook is done or not. How many times have you been cooking chicken drumsticks, bone and thighs, or a whole chicken? Follow the recipe to a T only to have undercooked meat next to the bone. Or maybe you feared the chicken wasn't done yet and you end up cooking chicken jerky. Now that I have this Haber thermometer, I check the chicken near the bone, and as long as the temperature reads 165 degrees Fahrenheit, I know it's safe to eat. Now if only I could time the outside to be crispy once the inside is done. Number two. Getting the preferred doneness for your steak or beef roast. Some people like to push down on the beef to see how much give there really is. And that does help, but it's not as precise as this Habor thermometer. For this tri-tip roast, I couldn't believe how long it was taking to cook. So I took the tri-tip out before the thermometer read 165 degrees, and well, it wasn't the well done that my son and wife like. The other tri-tip did read around 135 degrees, which meant it was medium rare perfection for my daughter and myself. For this one inch thick New York steak I was cooking, I followed the recipe from the air fry company, and after the six minutes were up, I checked on the steak to find that it was still mooing. And I knew I needed to keep cooking it to get the steaks to the medium rareness that we need. Number three. Here it is, the one I teased you about. Checking the temperature of water. How do I know if yeast is going to rise properly for my pizza dough, donuts, or leavened bread? I check the temperature with the Haber thermometer. There's nothing worse than checking out your pizza dough an hour after you set it to rise and it's still flat. At that point, you're either eating an hour later, eating less than wonderful pizza, or ordering takeout. So there are my experiences with using the Haber thermometer. I specifically chose Haber thermometer since it was one of the cheapest on Amazon, and despite being inexpensive, it has served me well in my cooking adventures. If you'd like to get one for yourself, I have a link to the Amazon page in the description below. And if you work for Habar, let's talk. Want to see the best recipe I've made that Habar Thermometer helped me with? Then check out this link right here.